He's been working very hard. Let's leave. So while we let him sleep for a little bit longer, today I'm taking over the updates and we're going to hear what some of the other developers have been working on as well. Now all of these features are targeted for Inkscape 1.2, but you can get your hands on unstable builds which include them right now so that you can test them and provide some feedback to the developers. Now if I do mispronounce your name when I'm going through this, and I assure you I will. I do apologize. It's Martin's fault. That said, Google Summer of Code student Osama Ahmed is creating an on-canvas Boolean editor. To many users of other tools, this will be known as a shape editor or shape builder. It will allow you to build a set of simpler overlapping shapes and take the overlaps and merge and or remove different parts into a final composite shape. Now, most of the projects are very visible. There'll be things you'll immediately want to play with. But there are students who are working on Inkscape behind the scenes, and two of these are Sushant, who is working on improving Inkscape's internal commands, upgrading them from an old Inkscape verb model to newer actions-based structure. This will allow many parts of Inkscape to be customized better and for better maintenance. And the second is Ishan Aurora, who is taking on the Inkscape website upgrade task. The website is a rather large Django-based system of apps with everything from forums to releases and galleries. The task is to carefully improve the, um, the testing coverage so the underlying system can be upgraded without risking the website's functionality. So good luck to both of them. Regular developer Mike Kowalski, in partnership with Adam Bellis, who is lead uh, on the design review, have come up with a great new functional gradient editor, which replaces the old gradient editor, which was removed back in Inkscape 0.92 because of poor maintenance, as well as looking amazing. This feature includes editing gradient stop colors, opacities, their positions, and being able to select from existing gradients. It's a marked improvement to the gradient tool from Mike and Adam. Now, the Inkscape outreachy intern for this year is Kavya Jaiswal is working on alignment and distribution upgrades, which should allow the alignment handles to reposition items and provide collection of features for setting and retaining distribution or alignment of objects. Now, another Google Summer of Code student Parth Pant is working on a much anticipated improvement to the snapping tool, which allows items to snap against not just the sides or corners of shapes, but also the axis of them or the distribution sequence of them. This is sometimes known as smart snapping, but here it is known as on canvas alignment snapping. Many people who do layout work will love dragging objects around and forming distributions more easily. The next Google Summer of Code student is Roshana and their work on Canvas Marker Editing Branch. This feature allows the editing of markers and their position relative to lines, as well as the shape of them. The feature is still in early development, but the progress is very solid, and you can see the editing handles for the items found in the market definition appears on the canvas. So thank you for watching my Patreon update video takeover. Once he's better rested, we'll have Martin back to you in no time. Thank you.